Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Leaf Green video. In the last part, we took on... We took on or started Mount Moon. <laughs> that Zubat interrupted me, sorry. Uh, do I, have, I think I have one more repel on, actually, so I'm gonna use it. So, yeah, there we go. Let's take on this Rocket Grunt. I have, um, Trouble Cough up front. Well, actually, I have, um, Airbender, actually. But yeah, now I have Trouble Cough up front. So let's take on... We also called it Kefari and nicknamed it Trouble Cough. I also caught a Paris too, as like a HM slave. It's pretty cool. We battled a lot of trainers so far, and we got, hopefully we're gonna finish Mount Moon. I can tell you, we're gonna finish Mount Moon in this part, so that's pretty cool. A lot of kids shouldn't be messing up with grown ups. Messing around with grown ups. It could be bad news. Okay, fine, we'll take you on. Rocket Grunt. Team Rocket Grunt, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're at to level 13. Strip off nose, pound, encore, sing, and uh, growl. Yeah. So let's actually switch out to giant green. Okay, let's fight this guy. <laughs> Vine whip attack. There we go, one hit KO. Nice. Let's go back to Treble Clef, I guess. Do the old switcheroo trick. It's like a quick Treble Clef experience for being in battle. So it's just giant green again. And you just find him up on the sand shoot because it's going to be super effective then. Just sand attack on us, okay. So that you fell, okay. Find him pits though, still. Awesome. Giant Green's in the level 19, awesome. Team Rocket Grunt, we defeated Team Rocket Grunt. I'm steamed. Thanks for $4.16 though. Okay, um, since uh, Tropicoff's up front, my mage still went into wall encounters, because it's depend- like, it only- it depends on the first Pokemon in your party, but like, it repels, um, Pokemon- like, for example, since Tropicoff's level 9, at or level 10, it'll repel Pokemon that's level 9 or below. But if it matches the level 10, it still uh, gets an encounter sometimes, you know. Or it will get an encounter because it matches the same level. It's not ahead by, the, by like, a level 9 or below. So if it matches, it still like, it's still get the chance for a wild counter. So, yeah. Okay, Airbender got paralyzed, um... In that last battle with that Paris, I'm gonna cure the paralysis now, I guess. Let's continue on. Dang it! Okay, Trouble Cuff grew to level 11 after defeat, after uh, being out in that battle, uh, sent down in that battle, and then uh, I guess uh, Airbender took down that Zebra early. So Trouble Cuff's now level 11. So that's pretty cool. I might be the right level up, to, uh, the uh, right level to repel actually Pokemon that's level 10. I was always saying that it might be the right level to repel level Pokemon that are 10 and below, but up that pair is still popped up, you know. Anyway, we team Rocket shall find the fossils. A fame Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Okay. Too bad I'm gonna stop you, you team Rocket grunt. <laughs> nice, okay, so you brought to. Okay. Switch over to Giant Green then. Just quick attack on us, okay? If I don't attack then, just quick attack again. There we go, nice. Let's get a Zubat, okay? We switch over to Trouble Cough again. Switch over to Airbender now. Reach life, okay. That yeah, did one HP, okay. That's good. For, that's good for us, at least. Okay, guys, we try again. Should leave Airbender with 32 HP. There we go. Nice. 
Let's, let's finish this thing with quick attack then. Thanks for the $4.16, man. <laughs> okay. Repels effect off, okay. That's my last repel, I'm pretty sure. Here's another moonstone, actually, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was like the mouse or pill. Okay. Let's take on the scientist, dude. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay. We'll have to battle you, I guess. Because those fossils are blocking our path, you know? Grimer, okay. Nice. Switch over to Airbender. Poison gas, oh no. That's actually really bad. Because now Airbender is poisoned. He is hardened, okay. So it might not take. It might survive another gust. Because its defense stat is raised one by one. That's just great, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Dang it. You got Oh man, this poison though. Cook it, I guess. Triple cough is in level 12. Fall toward, but I'm gonna switch out to uh, Triple cough then again. And then go to Giant Green. I wonder if Triple Cuff can uh, take this thing out. Get his charge, okay. Just out of curiosity, it's matched to the both level 12, so. I don't know. Let's get a screech, oh no. Now Triple Cuff's defense harshly fell. No, that's not good. Let's get his attack on us. Oh, cool. Triple Cuff should be able to take this thing out now. It's gonna lower. Trubakov's defense harshly, I think, by two again. But th there goes the Voltorb, awesome. I stand for the coffin, but I'm gonna switch out, obviously. Take a giant queen. Let's just tackle on this thing. Attack war basically. <laughs> there we go. Chuck Cuff's not level 13, yay. Chuck Cuff's trying to win double slap, okay. Yeah, switch move should be forgotten. Yeah, let's get rid of Growl. 1 2 and poof. Triple Cup forgot Growl and Triple Cup for double slap. We defeated Super uh, Nerd Miguel. Okay, I'll share. Thanks for the $2.88, cents, man. We each take one fossil, not being greedy. I'm gonna actually take the Helix fossil, so yeah. But then there's also the Dome fossil. The Dome fossil can be revived into Kabuto. And the Helix Fossil here can be revived into Omnomite. So I'm going to take the Helix Fossil. I won't be using Omnomite team, I just want the Helix Fossil, I guess. Because I usually pick the Dome Fossil, honestly. So put it as a key item, so that in the key item spot gets that's an important item, of course. And that one's mine, okay, is what he said, basically. Okay, so this one is mine, then. Okay, so that Zubat really interrupted me. Hopefully we can get out of here with another wild counter. Let's hope so. Here's an antidote. I could use it on... Uh, Airbender, but Airbender, we're getting close to Pokemon Center because Suen City is coming up soon. So that's good. So Airbender might faint actually. Yeah, I fainted right there, okay. That's okay though, we'll revive him at the Pokemon Center. Okay, here is um, some move tutors. A punch of, of Ruang Ferocity, uh, packed with destructive power. I think that's what I said. When the chips are down, make a punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes. Now let me teach you Pokemon. Okay, this move can only be used learned once. So okay, yes. Find which Pokemon will learn it. The only Pokemon that can learn it. Triple Clef, of course. 
Make a punch, yeah, okay. We should move Bruce make a punch, yes. We should, we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of Encoy. We don't need it. Yeah, there we go. And Trevor Coughlin, make a punch, yay. Yeah. Now we are comrades in the way of punching. You should go before you've seen by the misguided fool who trains only with his silly kicking over there. <laughs> okay, you're kind of roasting him, I guess. <laughs> a kick of brutal ferocity packed with uh, destructive power. When you get when you get right down into it, to, right down to it, make a kiss. Make a kick is an ultimate attack. This is the ultimate attack. Do you agree? Okay, let me teach you Pokemon. Sure. Uh, this Pokemon can only be learned once. Is that okay? Yes. I'll be which Pokemon can learn it again. The only Pokemon I have that can learn it. Travel Clef. Trifical and still in the move Mega Kick. Uh, I have a Trifical card in those four moves. Should move be deleted and replaced with Mega Kick. Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of um, Double Slot or uh, Sing actually. Yeah, let's give a sing. I don't really need sing. <laughs> yeah, try to figure out how to sing. <laughs> how to you sing? Okay, figure out how to sing. Oh no! And when make a kick. Cool. Now you sh now we're soulmates in a way of kicking. You should run before you're seen by the d d deluded nitwit who trains only simple punching over there. So they're roasting each other, which is kind of funny. I think over here is a berry, right here actually. It's a raspberry. Cool. And then up here is TM5 Roar. Let's pick that up, I guess, just to have it. There we go. And I'm trying to think, did I forget anything up here? I don't think I did. Let me just double check. I can hop over ledges, guys. Hint. Okay, we should be good. Yeah. And once you hop over here, there's actually no turning back to Mount Moon or Peter City for a while. So keep that in mind. So make sure you have all the Pokemon you want, like a Paris, and you want to catch a Paris on Mount Moon. I recommend it for like an HM Slave to so can win Cut and Flash. And then if you're catching Clefairy like me, you know, I think Clefairy is only really um, available on Mount Moon in this game. Really. You can only find them there. So uh, make sure you have all the Pokemon and all the items you want. And we can just hop over the ledge into uh, Sewerian City basically. So now we're in Sewerian City. Awesome. So I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick, and I'm actually gonna show this. I've, I wanted to show off the Steven's PC and the uh, someone's PC real quick too. So let's heal up a Pokemon first. Nice. Thank you for waiting here for story Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So in the PC right here, what's booted up? Someone's PC is a Pokemon storage, um, a Pokemon storage system. Which we don't have any Pokemon on the PC really. We don't even have six Pokemon yet. When you get a seventh, when you catch your seventh Pokemon, or when you catch your Pokemon, when you already have six members in your party, it'll be transferred to this PC. You can get it out from there, deposit and withdraw Pokemon and stuff. It's pretty cool, and you can also move Pokemon. And then Steven's PC is actually an item storage, like we saw in the beginning of the game, where you got the potion. Let's deposit a couple items though. Let's deposit one Moonstone, uh, the Ether. Um. And the time. No, I think that's really it. All I want to restore. All I want to um, do right now, I guess. And also, you can switch up and organize your bag, actually, which is pretty cool. Like, I can put the revive up here, which is probably right here is a good spot. So, yeah. So, I'm in the part right here. So, this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walkthrough at part. The next part will take on what's north of Sewerian City. There's actually our, our third rival battle coming up, actually, so that's pretty cool. Let me check my Pokemon real quick. No, that's good. Okay, we should be good. So yeah, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo walkthrough guide part. Next part will take on what's north of Sewerian City, like I said. Third rival battle coming up. So yeah, so this has been Dranko again. I would like to thank Coaching again. Goodbye, and I'll just see you guys next month. In the next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green, we do walk the guide.